mol per liter we have 2 liters so we multiply it with 2 and we get 10 1026 milli osmoles that is for 2 liters osmolarity is still 0 0.13 or 513 milli osmoles per liter but this is now the total osmoles present milli osmoles present in 2 liters now we have seen this before we have studied this before that when the sodium chloride is added to the solution it is going to go in there and it is going to separate into sodium and chloride agreed and we actually talked about this as well that about 93 percent of that separates not the whole 100 percent but anyways for our example we will just say the 100 percent of sodium and chloride would dissociate into sodium and chloride and remember we are talking concentrations. So because we are talking concentration the concentration would double up so before this it was sodium chloride molecule now these are sodium and chloride ions the number is going to be still the same so osmolarity is going to further increase. So if the total osmolarity was 1026 or total osmoles milli osmoles were 1026 we would now have 1026 per sodium and 1026 per chloride so total will become 2052 milli osmoles. So what we are saying is if we add 3 percent sodium chloride solution to a person then every liter will bring about 1026 milli osmoles and 2 liters will bring 2052 milli osmoles right. So in our example we are going to infuse about 2 liters of this so let us see here the second table shows that when we have infused the 2 liters so if I add 2 liters fluid here so we have added we have added 2 liters of fluid to the extracellular fluid what will happen then so let us look at that extracellular fluid volume will now become 16 liters it was 14 liters before now it is 16 liters because we have added 2 liters of new fluid the osmolarity of that fluid was that we had 3920 milli osmoles present before we have added another 2052 milli osmoles so we have gotten a total of 5971 milli osmoles if we divide these two values the osmolarity comes to be 373 milli osmoles per liter okay what does that mean what that means is that enough sodium has come in that osmolarity in this area has increased so two things have increased the fluid volume has increased extracellular fluid volume has increased that is depicted by this green shadowed area here and the second thing which has increased is as we can see here the sodium chlorides addition to the body has caused the osmolarity to increase that, that, that makes sense right we have added more sodium chloride to the body we have added more particles so the concentration of the particles has gone up correct now the question is what happened to ICF so immediately when we have added let us say for our purposes there was no equilibrium going on till the time that we have infused this so intracellular fluid stayed almost the same of course that is not really going to be the real case when you are doing it because as you keep adding drop by drop it is going to start equilibrium, equilibrating right away but anyways let us consider that all this fluid came in the extracellular compartment all the sodium chloride also went into the extracellular compartment intracellular compartment stayed to 28 liters 280 uh, milliliter milli osmoles per liter and total 7840 7, milli osmoles total fluid changed instead of 42 liters now it is 44 liters total osmolarity or milli osmoles not osmolarity but milli osmoles that changed so you add the ICF and ECF milli osmoles and that would give you the total milli osmoles so of course 
this number now has an additional 2052 milliosmoles added to it. Good. Now we have to figure out that when that has been added, what will be the effect? So the first thing I am going to ask you is what is added to the body? So what we have added is sodium and chloride. Sodium and chloride are the drivers or, or these are the concentration drivers and they play for maintenance of the osmolarity which in turn causes the fluid shift. So what is happening is that outside here we have increased the sodium chloride, but at the same time we have also added some fluid, correct. Important thing to note is this, very important thing to note is this, what we have added has higher osmolarity than the osmolarity of the existing compartment. What that means is we have added more solutes here than we have added the water. What will have been the equal ratio? The equal ratio according to our body's homeostatic environment is if this was 0 0.9 percent sodium chloride that would have had almost the same osmolarity as is our normal body osmolarity and so we will be fine. But in this particular case there has been more solutes here and less water although water has increased, but still relatively this is less amount of water and more amount of solutes. What does that mean? What that means is that remember the concentration gradient, so we have more concentration of solutes here, we have lesser concentration of solutes over here. That means what? What is about the water? We have more water here and we have less water here. Correct. So water concentration now over here is more, water concentration now over here is less. What do you think would happen? Water is going to move from higher concentration to the lower concentration, correct. But how do we mathematically represent that? So here is how, what we do. What we will do is we will pick up the total milliosmoles present in the body. So this is the total number of milliosmoles present combined in ECF and ICF we will divide that by the total fluid volume, so that is 44 and we got the osmolarity to be 313.9 milliosmoles per liter. Now what we need to do is we also need to see can the sodium which we added here, can it move in the cell? No, why not because even if it would move cell is going to throw it out, why because of the sodium potassium pumps in our previous lectures we talked about it. So that means the osmolarity here or total milliosmoles in the ECF are going to be staying constant. Similarly the total milliosmoles present in the ICF are going to be constant too, but the osmolarity has changed. So you put the osmolarity here and then you divide these two and that would tell you the amount of fluid in these two compartments. So it is very interesting as we were suspecting when you put more sodium outside that would increase the concentration here that is now going to pull the water from the other side and you can see that we had actually only added 2 liters, but at the end of the day after the equilibrium we have 19 liter over here. So what happened was from the ICF, so how much more came about 3 liters. So from ICF about 3 liter of water was removed and this water is also moved into this compartment. So I would say about 3 liter of water is moved out in from ECF, from ICF into the ACF. Now when the fluid will move out, but the solutes will not move out what will happen to the relative concentration of the solutes? The relative concentration of solute would go up, correct. So can I say that the osmolarity here would increase? Correct. So this is what happened now. So we had added some fluid that is sitting here, some more fluid moved from the ICF into the ECF.